All right, what is up, y'all? Sunday, April 16th. What a nice morning. It's like 60 degrees, a lot of fog. However, uh, we're going to have to contend with that. We'll see what ends up there. I am all the way up in Waretown, as you can see. Uh, really neat. Creekside Outfitters, man. You guys got an awesome shop. What a nice shop. They had everything. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. You don't mind if I video a little bit, do you? I'm well, gonna, go ahead, I'm gonna go put your shop on my YouTube channel. This is excellent. This place is awesome. What's yes. your channel? Reaper Fishing, New Jersey. Cool. Yeah, we got like thirteen thousand subscribers. Nice. It's fun, Follow man. Us on Instagram. We'll do for sure. Please. Uh, the Reaper boats are still up on blocks, getting work done. Um, very behind the eight ball this season, but it's okay. So I have friends with boats, and I got River Reaper. So. We're here, we're gonna fish with Josh today on his Hydra Sports. I'm gonna wait for him. I got some extra crabs and clam just in case. I have heard of some cod. So wait for him, we'll get ready. And uh, the goal is tog fishing. So I'm super pumped. You all know I love togging. Um, this will probably be my only trip of the spring. So let's hope we can get out. It's puffing, I can feel it puffing east a little bit. And this fog might be prohibitive. So I'm not the captain today, I'm just angler. So we'll see what you know Josh's comfort level is. And, I'll let him make the decisions today, to be honest with you. My truck is just a total mess. I just have stuff everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Super excited. So I went and I got, I guess, five. I guess I got 11 dozen green crabs. Um, Josh asked me how much to buy, buy yesterday. I was like, I'm not sure, dude. I buy them by the bushel usually. Typically for togging, I normally just have all the pens rigged up and ready. I have, I usually buy them you know, the white leggers and the green leggers, bushel at a time. Um, I usually buy two bushels in the beginning of the season, so I always have them, and then I just replenish as we go with half bushels and bushels. So with togging, if you think you have enough bait, buy more. There's nothing worse than being on a steady bite and uh, not having enough bait, because basically I always tell guys, every time you roll up, rebate. Every time you roll up, it'll be rebate. And I got my Reaper Tog Rod. Leave bet. SXJ 5.3 is my second one. And this is my custom Reaper Tog Rod, complete with Tog Logo. This is made off what's called the Honey Lammy Blank. And this is, hey, trying to film here. This is from JPR Rods. They built it custom for me. It's spiral wrapped. I think the length is like seven, six, seven, eight. The blank is like almost 10 feet long, I want to say. All right, y'all, boat is sick. This thing's awesome. Uh, 239 Vector. Plenty of room up here, a lot of storage. Engine's purring, storage back there. Yeah, super nice boat, pumped. So Josh has the Garmin 7610. You don't mind if I video, do you? Oh, Field trip day. Josh, say hi to the world. Field trip day. <laughs> First time, let's yeah. go, baby. First time on Josh's boat. He invited me and I, I couldn't pass it up, guys. I have so much to do on the both boats, but this is probably my only shot at Target, so I said, I gotta go, so. Alrighty, off we go. All right, guys, this is an old school Chris Craft Commander, and I wanna say that's the 38. They didn't make a lot of them, but these boats are tanks. Yeah, that's the 38, I think. They made a 38, no, that's the 42. That's the 42 Chris Craft Commander. That boat is a tank. There's a contender. That's a 31. I like that with the Hondas. Yeah. Y'all, that's the entrance to the bay right there. And uh, you got just about, I don't know, 100 yard visibility if that. There's the lighthouse there. You can hardly even see it. All right, y'all, we're out here doing it. Super foggy ride out, um, not not rough. It was a nice ride out, actually. Uh, this boat ride's awesome. So Josh is just getting the troll motor all ready to roll. And uh, yeah, luckily we had that because this would be a really hard day to, to conventional anchor. So we'll see. I'm gonna put y'all just on the head mount to start so I can get to fishing. And uh, let's see if we can't get them going here, baby. Pump. Coggy time jigs, thank you so much. We got brand new jigs, Let's see what we got here. This is my favorite. This green, black, I'll show you. And see how it's got like a little powder coat? Oh yeah, that's my awesome. fucking favorite. I like that hook. Yeah, and there's a bunch. Don't, 
Don't be shy, you do whatever you want, dude. Fuck it, the way. <laughs> All right, guys, first drop. 2023 saltwater season. At least out in the ocean. I'm so excited. I always find as long as you're like catching tog, you're good. Is that a tog or is that a shark? <laughs> it's a little sharky to me. And I was just about to say, as long, I find as long as you're getting bit and not getting sharks, you're okay. Uh, uh, shark, right? No, it's a togert. <laughs> it's a togert. Wow. She's almost a keeper, honestly. 15, right? Yeah, I think it's 15, right? Just an inch. Yeah, a little shy. Our Shit, dude, the jig, it's like, as soon as I get down, I get bit. That's a better bite. Come on, eat it. I got you. Oh, no. I had you. Got you. I got him, though. That was a better bite. He really committed to it. Look at you. Desired species. Hey, fella. All right, y'all. So we're going to the second spot. First spot was uh, just a lot of probably short life. We only caught, I think, three shorts, one Bergal, just a little tap. So we'll see. This is talk. Sometimes you just... An afternoon bite, or they gotta wake up, or you know, a little tide change. So we'll see. All right, guys, the fleet has made up. Not terrible. Definitely more boats than earlier, though. Kind of moseying around, looking, looking a little different wrecks here. It's fun. I actually have a fish, dude. I didn't even know it. I have a fish on. I have a foul hook tod. Okay. Right in the left. That's wherever you want them. There you go. They live here. I gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, such a dude. It's such a strange bite. <laughs> so it is such a weird bite. Wow, they're really biting so sluggishly. He's a little guy. Water's oh, that's chilly. a keeper. That's a keep, bud. Are you meat hunting? Oh, I gotta give Kelly something. All right, this is a nice female. She looks like a keeper. Just about, Josh. Oh yeah. That's All right. Good. Now I get a good look First at keeper. Bucket. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm oh, not hey. gonna believe what I fucking did. No, you did not, Josh. What? Yeah, you dropped the fish in the water, I didn't you? Fucking did. No, you didn't. I went to get some water in the bucket. And the only reason I cared is because I cut her gills. Oh, she, I thought she would float. I killed her too. That was not. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh. I always feel like we're going to do that one day with tuna. Drop them at the dock or something. Yes, there we go. Yes. Give me my fish. Get out of here. <laughs> Josh showed me a pretty novel idea. You uh, hose down your boat while you're tog fishing. Never actually thought of that. Might, might try that on my own boats. That really does look like a 43. All right, y'all. We officially have an imposter. I'm pretty sure that's a 43. So if that's your boat, let me know. Comment. Curious. Well, taps. Well, taps. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, uh, no, no. But that's a keeper for sure. There we go, guys. That's a little better bite. This is why we brought this. Yeah. You had to bring it off. Like, <laughs> there you go. That's a keeper. That's a nice keeper. Go. All right, guys. Another, another female. This one's fat. Good lord. Can we let that one go? Yeah. yeah, let's let that one go. She's a pretty female. She's got a big belly. Yeah, let's let her go. Yeah, I'll get you another one. I'll get you a male. Get down there, girl. <laughs> there we go. That's a proper bite. That's a proper bite. Come on up here, girl. Why are they all females? Why are they all girls? Hey, you. Aren't you pretty? Look at you. Come on, guys. Activate. Activate. I got you. I got you. 
I got you. I got something on the clam. Oh yeah. Yeah. Could be a tog, man. I think it is a tog, actually. It might just be a little soft lift right now. I don't, I don't, I don't want Look at this. Hey, look at him. There's your male keeper. It's coming home. Look at that, dude. On the on the clam. Hit it hard too, right? Oh yeah. Man. Yeah, he was whacking it for a while there. He's your keeper, man. That's a keeper male. He's coming home. That's Chris three. I don't know what Cap's least, doing over there. I saw you throw another, like, sneaking another keeper over to side there about 20 minutes ago. Although he's been sticking to the jig, so I'll let him slide. Yeah, I switched I over to conventional. Perfect. There you go, Kelly. He choked it, dude. Look at that. He really wanted it. Hey. We're going to the third spot. Right? Third? third? Yeah, third. So, it's been a really weird bite today, guys. Um, i said it before in other videos. It seems like today, and I've, I've seen this before, every time you think they're going to get going, you're like, okay, here we go. A lot of bites. It just dies. It's really weird. Um, I've got three keepers, a couple throwbacks. Um, Josh is Here's running the, the boat. That is definitely a 43. Your boat, let me know. The director, small skillet, pat of butter. Oh, God. Get up there. That's a nice one. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Josh. Oh, no, that's close, dude. She's close. That's a keeper. It's number four. <laughs> that's number four for Chrissy. Look how pretty she is. Look how pretty you are, girl. She's a chunker, too. Yep, that's number four for me. I uh, will keep down. Her eyes are kind of bugged out anyway. Yeah. Yeah, let me just wait out this bite. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Wait out the bite. Then I'll push it down. <laughs> Did you see that crossing oak set? Uh, this one's going to be a keeper too. It's going to be close. I love tog fishing. It's so fun. Just so fun, they're starting to wake up. That's number five. <laughs> That's number five. Uh, that one's going back. She's going back. That's number five. Let's double check. She came up nice and slow too. She'll be just fine. Let's. Yeah, you're right about 15 and a half. Okay. That's my number five, y'all. Get down there, girl. That's my limit. Oh, dude, that was a good bite. Oh, I know what I'm doing. We're growing trophy hunting, y'all. Fresh caught in my backyard. Here we go. Trophy hunting. Let's see. Oh. That one's pulled a little drag, Josh. That one pulled a little drag. He just took everything. Look. That's what happened. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look what happened, dude. I want to see it. Look what happened. You hit it, you. We went it's to okay. Set the book, it yeah, it. I just yeah. lost my weight, though. All right. Wow. Okay. Here we go. There's a big one down there. Oh, I wish I had a bushel of whites right now. Oh. All right, here we go. Oh, that was a good bite. Come on. Yeah, I think it's another Bergal though. Whoa, look at what it got here. Look at what we have here. They was all over the road. Hey, first sea bass of the year. That's what I was feeling down there. We don't want any more down. That's number six. Oh yeah, proper good bite. Not a huge one, but that's number six. Oh, look how dark she is. She is pretty. That one's probably right around 15 again. She's beautiful, guys. It's weird though that they're all like, I'm almost concerned that you're not seeing any like five pounders mixed in or. Yeah, they're all like. Yeah, it makes me worried that they really are getting all that they're all getting killed like 
All right, y'all, here we go. So we're going to the fourth spot. It seems to be just a pick at each spot. You get there, you get some bites, pick a keeper or two, and you got to move on. It's not, it has nothing's really been hot and heavy. So we're just keep sticking and moving, working hard. Josh is doing awesome running the boat, getting us on it. So here we go. Wreck number four. I'm curious, comment below if you know that boat. I think it said the doctor or the director. It looked like the name was. I don't know. I think it said Upper Township. If you know that boat, tell me. I'm curious. Let me know below. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. There's little ones here. Yeah. Mostly all little ones, seems like. Yeah. Oh, look what I got. Holy shnikes. Wow, that's a decent one. Yeah, not a not a terrible one. Look at that, dude. Totally closed though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's closed. He's little anyway. Spitting out clam. This is one of my favorite fish to eat, Josh. Sea bass. Sea bass. I pan fry him, dude. I think it's so good. Alright, y'all. Wreck number five. Here we go. Let's fill the limit here. Threaten the spot. Threaten the spot. This spot stinks. Let's <laughs> feel this little guy. Come on. Come on, little one. Not that little. Not that little, Josh. Not bad looking. It's going to be close. That's another cookie cutter 15 and a half. It's going to be close, bud. So that's number seven. Okay. All right, y'all. That is number seven for Chrissy. And they're all about the same. We haven't really caught anything big. They're all literally 15 to 16 inches. I mean, great eating size. Um, but I am a little worried about the fact that we're not getting bigger fish. That's worrisome. Yeah. Looking for my first keeper. It's uh, 2.30. Uh, Chris has caught his limit twice. <laughs> Pretty much. We're doing okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hey, why I brought him. That's, uh, yeah. Captain takes credit for all the fish. That's how it works, though. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. No Come on, get up, get up off there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one too. Probably my eighth keeper. I'm pretty sure. Right, let's see. No, that's number eight. That's the biggest one of the day. Is it? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it is. It's number eight. That's like a five, six pounder. There we go. Check that oh, out. That yeah, that one I got her let go. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's good. She bit it really hard. It's biggest one of the day. Yeah, man. All right, girl, get back there, baby. Get back there. She walloped it. <laughs> All right. And that's my eighth keeper so i have officially limited out the whole boat all right so it's a good thing too because i have exactly this many <laughs> captain takes credit for all the fish so this is the spot josh we were just moseying around and he's got the side scan and he's way better at this electronic stuff than i am he's way more patient i've noticed as well <laughs> um and he's better at it so he's like able to use the side scan and then he can kind of mark it and go around and, and really get on top of it with the spot lock. I'm terrible at all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it, man. Two man limit, we're done. I think we harvested three, now we harvested four. Um, that one we let go. Gonna keep fishing? I'll keep fishing until Josh says we're leaving, so. Let's get back down there. Oh, as I said that, actually. Oh! I think you got another foul hooked one, huh? Uh, a couple head shakes. Shark. I was gonna say that's oh, looking a little sharky, yeah. right? First one of the day. <laughs> Meanwhile, current affairs. Chris has Chris has probably his ninth keeper. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's gonna be number nine. Dude, good spot you found, Josh. It's trying to bring them up a little slower so they don't get. Too much barrow trauma. Oh, look at this pretty one. Oh my god. 
She's fat. She's not a keeper. She's just fat. He got me in the wreck. I had him too. Oh, he's on there. I got him. I got him out of the wreck. Oh, yeah? Yes. So pumped. Ram me right in the wreck. I got him up. Let's see. How big? That one's close. That one might be number nine. Let's see. How big are you? Ah, it's pretty close. That's a keeper. That's number nine. I'll give it to you. That's yeah. right there. I mean, that's the yeah. If we were meat hunting, we'd be keeping. You'll be okay. That's a keeper. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Pretty darn sure. That is number 10. That is number 10. Nice male. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. Nice male hooked in the eye. I think that one's coming home for Kelly. Let's see. So let's see. That one's. No. Yeah, just about 17. Yeah, if we wanted 16 and a half. Today. Yeah. All right, y'all. That is my 10th keeper. It's a nice male, good eating size. So that'll be five that we harvested. I think that's pretty okay. Oh, see? There's people teeth. Oh, so yeah, he just wants to go home. It's the story of your day, Josh. All right, y'all. Now, Josh and Eric returned to the same general area about a week, week and a half later. I believe they had four over ten and said it was a sleigh fest all day. So just goes to show you sometimes these tog are fickle animals. So they're group 27s. And then the, the charger's on the back wall. Oh, it's so, okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to go with group 31s because they're so much bigger they're and so heavier. Much bigger, yeah. But these okay. are uh, 100, 105 amp hours. Right. Which is almost as much as any any regular flooded group 31. Right. Okay. The guy said they have almost no cranking power. Really? Like they're, they're just deep cycle. Deep cycle, yeah. For, for but that's probably remote. good, yeah. 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 So they got three out, of, three out of four bars after. Dude, that's really good. Eight straight hours, probably. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. I'd be done. Yeah. Wow. All right, y'all. That's Josh's trolling motor setup. That's awesome. Totally. He's got different batteries than I'm running. Uh, I'm just got regular lead acid batteries or wet wet batteries, I guess they call them, right? Yeah. Flooded. 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 Yeah, flooded. So yeah, guys, that's that's a wrap. Uh, I got ten keepers. Josh got I don't know how many. I'm not gonna say. Josh had a good fun day on the water. <sighs> yeah. What's really cool though is that is that Josh was able to come out to one of his closer reefs to his inlet, and he was really able to plot out a bunch of these wrecks. So that's a win. I had a blast. Josh, thank you so much, dude. I can't pleasure. thank you enough, wow. man. Yeah, it was awesome. Anytime. Yeah. So that was my only tog trip of April, and that was stellar. So as always, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell. Tuna fishing as soon as I get back from Indonesia. Super excited. Oh, yeah, that's awesome, dude. 59 Vector, right? 2390 Vector, yeah. 2390 Vector, it's called. Okay, yeah. It's got a nice seat up front. Storage under here. Um, Josh has the wings, you can see. Yeah. yeah. So, this really nice boat. One install doing this. Yeah, so Josh did the install himself. I had to do the uh, the aluminum. Yeah, I'll show him that, yeah. Get it and this is the, the this is the... 87 inch 112 right yeah, yeah. that's yep. the same one i have on the contender and then he made this awesome plate who who made the plate for you like a machine uh, I shop I, no i just got a i got well, you know whatever the dimensions are it was a solid rectangle and i got it yeah um i tried to get you know slightly curved edges on it i just went on the grinding wheel and smoothed out the edges and then uh, drilled through the holes where they were going to go through the gunnel and there it is. So the oh the grinding wheel worked. It's not like you yeah, had this so, stuff so, at home. Yeah, so so okay. it was just cornered. They were just rough cornered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edges. Yeah. So I just took the uh, yeah, that's great. The angle grinder yeah. with the grinding wheel. Got the wheel silicone just, there. Yeah. Yeah, forty two hundred around all the bolts. Oh, so. you forty two. Okay, yeah, yeah. I got you. Just to try to you know eliminate any kind of water intrusion. Whatsoever. Yeah. And it won't flex. Forty two hundred won't flex like yeah. like silicone. Yeah. That's it, y'all. This boat's great. And then again, he's got a 300 Yami coming, so super excited. I think in here, Josh said, is a live well. 
So that's for gonna be for maybe one day we'll chunk this boat and take it out and chunk tuna. So yeah. What is it? They feed them? Yeah, she feeds them over there. Hey guys. I don't have, I don't have swans here. Interesting. I'm telling you, you North Jersey people, it's weird up here. Y'all got swans hanging out in your canals. Interesting place, this North Jersey.